before you as a head football coach at the University of Oklahoma. Uh, only God can do this. And uh, so I just want to take this opportunity to thank the Lord. What's going on, y'all? Michael Turk here, OU punter. I wanted to make this video because previous videos before, I was saying I'm going to make the decision to either declare for the 2022 NFL Combine or stay here in college. You might be wondering where I am right now. I'm in the team room and that's because it's a nice cozy area and I got the room to myself. I like coming here from time to time just to read or just to chill out. It's a pretty quiet and peaceful place. Usually there's no music going on or anything in here. Hello? What's up, man? <laughs> Someone just walked in and then I said, what's up? And I think they got frightened and walked away. Let me read this Bible verse too before we get started. Proverbs 16.3, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. And Proverbs 16.9 goes on to say, man plans his way in his heart, but the Lord determines his steps. I want to make it clear that I would not be here without the Lord. I've been through a lot, three ACL surgeries. This is my third college. I went to the 2020 NFL Combine, came back. There's definitely been ups and downs too in, throughout my life and my college career. And no matter what happens, I know God is in control. And I'd encourage anyone listening to this to pray about their decisions they make in life. Humble, them, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may lift you up in due time. And I, I know myself, I am by no means perfect. In fact, I'm a wretched sinner much more than you all know. And that's why I'm thankful in Romans 7. It says, O wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Thanks be to God that I have victory through Christ Jesus my Lord. And in the very first verse in Romans 8, it says, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. That's truly the most important decision is whether you give your life to Christ or not. Because at the end of the day, we will all be held accountable for our sin. But Jesus came to die on the cross for guilty sinners who repent and trust in him. And you know you can have eternal salvation, forgiveness, and redemption. But without further ado, the decision I'm making is to stay here in Oklahoma. Lord willing, go to the national championship. Have a great year. Finish strong. Pray next year we have a redemption of a season. And that's why I am staying here in Oklahoma using my last year of eligibility to be a Sooner. If you want to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe right now to join the hang gang. And this summer